courtesy of Banggood.com. They were nice enough to send me out the brand new Xomi Me 2 720p HD FPV Infrared Mini Battle Quadcopter. Yes, that's a battle quadcopter. You don't really need two of these. You can just use it to fly about and take pictures because the picture quality is really good. But if you need two, then it's going to cost you quite a lot of money. It hooks up to your mobile device on 5G. If your mobile device is not 5G capable, you will not be able to fly this quadcopter, my friend. And you can also use a transmitter, a Bluetooth transmitter that connects through the Wi-Fi on your mobile phone to fly the quadcopter. Now, they don't have any Bluetooth transmitters made for this quadcopter at the moment, but it says that you can use a number of different Bluetooth transmitters and I'm going to try one later on, but not tonight, I'm afraid. So let me bring the quadcopter over. Now, because it's a battle drone, it's got infrared sensor at the front and what actually happens is once you get hit, your quadcopter will start to shake and you'll lose HP. HP is your health and once you get down to no health, that means you're out of the game and you lose. End of that. Now, um, don't forget to check the link in the description for this quadcopter and you can see a lot more about it and obviously pick one up for yourself because I must admit, this is quite an amazing quadcopter. Uh, I've never flown the Tello, the DJI Tello, but this, through my mobile device, I've never flown another quadcopter quite like it using my mobile phone and it's just great fun. Now in the box what you do get, I've already pre-assembled it to make it a lot quicker and so we can go through it a lot easier. You only get two extra props and the props themselves are 76mm and you'll see one's got a red marking on them and one hasn't and that's because your motor has got a red mark and the other one hasn't and the motors that you get are 0820 motor so what you just do is you pop the red prop onto the motor that get the red circle around it and the white one obviously onto the one that get the non white one you get prop guards in the box as well and i must admit it comes nice and neatly in the box and you can see that little groove right there and what you want to do is just prop push the prop guard on into that little groove, squeeze it until you hear that weak click and noise and that's your, and that's the prop guard on. Just make sure the prop is not hitting against the guard and that's you all fine and ready to go. Uh, a little downfall here, the manual itself, it's all in Chinese. Every single part of this manual is in Chinese. I had no idea what to do when I got this quadcopter, but with a little bit of an investigation, I managed to figure it all out. Now, the battery that you get with it is a one cell 3.8 volt, 920 milliamp proprietary battery. And it says it takes about 60 minutes to charge up. You get a USB cable for it and you plug it in this way. You can see there's little prongs inside there. So we'll just push it inside. And once you've plugged it in at the side here, you've got your micro USB slot where you charge the battery up. Now I tried to charge this up and what happens, a blue light will start blinking when it's charging up, but it didn't seem to want to go off for me. 60 minutes went past, nearly two hours went past and I said, that's enough. I, I think the light just does not want to go out. And when I checked it up on the app, it looked like the battery was fully charged so just bear that in mind and keep an eye on that and if you want to take the battery out you just push the button at the back and pop the battery out on the side here you've got your on and off button as you can see you press it and hold it for a couple of seconds and an orange light will come out on at the bottom and you press and hold it until the orange light goes off and that is you as we're underneath the quadcopter here, this is an ultrasound visual sensor at the bottom and that helps stabilize the quadcopter and I must say it does an amazing job 
indeed. It also has 4 gig of storage built in. You don't put an SD card in it. So what you have to do is once you've recorded and taken pictures, you need to download them onto your phone via the app. The way of the quadcopter is 88 grams and from motor shaft to motor shaft is 114 millimeters. Now a lot of people have had problems trying to get the right app installed for the quadcopter and the app that you want to look for on the play store is this one here it's the me drone mini app now once you've installed that you want to register the app put your email address in do not put your original email address uh, password <laughs> on the password i didn't do that don't do that okay just pick a different password don't use your password for your email address put your email address and make up a new password and that's you ready to go turn on the quadcopter get the app up and running so like i said you press and hold the button for two seconds and you'll see the orange light come on at the bottom there this is a mess over here, it really is. And what you want to do is hit the the Me Drone Mini. As you can see here, don't forget to have your Wi-Fi turned on. Now, I've already registered my quadcopter, so all I have to do now is enter device. Now, it will ask you for a password after you've searched for it. And the password is 1234567 eight nine and you just click connect and if you just give it a second that's us connected up as you can see here you've got your 360 uh, you don't need to press it and move the stick this time it tells you what way you're going to flip when you do a 360 up the top you've got automatic takeoff then you have automatic land you can have a hand takeoff, it will take off from your hand as well. You can connect your Bluetooth transmitter up through the app and you can, you've also got headless mode and you've got a gravity sensor. It tells you your Wi-Fi signal now, the quadcopter, it does say it's up to, can fly up to 50 meters away. I don't know if it has fail safe. This is what I'm gonna to need to test out because tonight I'm just gonna test it out in the house and show you what it's like. It shows you how much battery's left it's running in mode 2 at the moment and at the bottom you've got to take a picture and record. Let's go into that cog button and see what it says in there. Now you've got your gallery, that's if you've taken pictures already and your camera settings. Now the camera settings, don't forget the resolution, the max resolution on your phone can be 1600 times 1200 but it records in 720p and you can also take it down a notch as you can see right there. Picture display TF card. You can format the card if you want to. Wi-Fi management, firmware upgrades. I don't know if there's any in a minute. Height restrictions, I didn't know they had that. Yes, your calibration, you can calibrate it. I calibrated it earlier on, it's quite easy. Your joystick sensitivity, you can change those settings as well. And it's got a beginner's guide at the bottom and you can just slide through and read everything that you need to know about the quadcopter. That's basically just about it. Now, I think all we need to do is go and fly this little Exomi Me 2 quadcopter. I'm not going to take any video footage from the camera tonight. I want to get it outside and in good lighting because it's late in the evening here. The lighting's no good. Right, okay, that's it. Let's go and go get to the flight. And I'm going to automatically take off. Press OK. And there you go. That is hands free. Not even touching a thing. Right. I'm telling you, this is an absolute gem to fly, it really is. I've only ever flown it once. Maybe I should um, calibrate it. 
I think the light has a lot to do with, um, there you go, it's just sitting there by itself. I do have a light behind the camera here, so it must be sensing that light and it's holding its position a lot better as you can see. And when I bring it back to about there, it kind of wobbles about just a little bit. Not much, right, I'm going to do a 360 flip. I think this is the forward one. Yes, it is. That did that automatically there. Let me just bring it back over a bit again. Now I'll show you, I'm just going to push a button. And it did it automatic again. You really don't need to touch anything to make this thing fly. It does it all by itself, it really does. Let me just take it easy, because I really want to get it outside and fly it. Ooh, I'm still not the best at, um, using mobile phones to fly quadcopters, but this will work great during the daytime when there's a lot of light it really will. You can see it just, you can see it, it hugs into that light. It really does. I want to go for the light. It's just steady as a rock on the light, as you can see there. I'm gonna bring it back. Let's do another flip. Flip again. Why won't you flip? Flip that way. Oh. There you go. I get a little warning up in the screen saying something. I think it wants me to calibrate some. I think it wants me to calibrate the gyro. You should phone over clear and distinct terrain. It is clear terrain. It's, it might be the wooden flooring. I don't know. Might not like the wooden flooring. Just, yeah, it likes to be a, a certain height off the ground is what I've noticed. Let's take it up a bit. How high does it like to be? And in a certain light. Want to be about there. Yeah, sitting there is just perfect. Now the battery is running low really quickly. We'll try headless mode. Please note that under headless mode, the drone will always find the direction. Right, okay, I know. Right, uh, and I forgot. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, it feels a lot quicker in headless mode. Right, stop please, I don't like that. I forgot what direction I took off in. <laughs> right, I'm going to come out of that. We'll try other... Um, let me hit record. I don't really want to record in here because there's nothing to record. It says the battery's low now and it wants to come into land. Please be careful. Thank you for letting me know that. Right, so I better bring it into land. Now, like I said, I'll just do an automatic landing. Okay, automatic land. And down you go. Like I said, when I was charging it up, it didn't, it didn't say it was fully charged. You know what? I'm going to bring it back up again. I'm going to see what it does when... It is totally out of battery. Let's see what it does when it's totally out of battery. Low. Please be careful. Okay, thank you for reminding me. I, I, I'm not going to fly it around now. I don't want to hit anything. I don't want to hit the walls. I just want to keep it here and just see what it does. Let me just do it, y'all. Remember, you've got low, medium and high rate. That's in low rate. Well, that's what it says anyway. 
but I'm dying to take this thing outside. And it's still sitting there. Will it do a flip with the battery low? No, it won't. Battery low, please be careful. The drone should only be flown over... Yes, okay. But at least it gives me distinct terrain. What does that mean? You only like to fly over grass? <laughs> because it seems so. That rug there is like grass and it sits there better than what it does on my laminated flooring. I'm not even paying attention here. This will be so boring for you guys to watch this. But like I said, this is just a test. It said battery low, but yet it's still flying. Oh, there you go. It's coming into land itself now. I've no... There you go. She tells yourself, commencing automatic landing now. And there you have it, there's a little bit of flight footage from the new Xiaomi Mi TU Battle Drone. It flies absolutely great indoors. It does give you a very early battery warning, but the battery still lasts for an extra couple of minutes after that. A neat look back at the footage and see how long it did last. Can't wait to test this outside in the daylight and the nice sun and get some pictures. But until then, stay tuned. We will have this outside tomorrow, the next day, or the next day. It depends what the weather's like here in Scotland because <laughs> I don't like the weather, man. You should know that by now. Uh, we, we're also going to try the palm takeoff. I'll get my uh, son to try that because he'd be better off doing that, okay? And uh, we'll check out the rest of the sentence. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this little overview of this quadcopter. Don't forget to check the link in the description if you want to buy one of these. Make sure you get a 5G phone or you won't be able to use this. And as always, my friends, happy flying. No, I